hello everyone. We um, get ready to do our final burn on, on um, getting this office ready. God willing, we'll be ready in, by the time we get kicked out of our Cottleville office. Yeah, in January we're in Cottleville, and then in February we're not in Cottleville. <laughs> we're on this parking lot, yeah. <laughs> and um, I, I, we're super excited for everybody to see it when it's done, and a lot of people are going to talk about the inside, I hope, and how great it is, uh, and how the buckets of money we spent on an architect really went to, went to good um, use. But what I want to talk about is the outside for a second. We just got done marking where we want all the trees um, because we are super type A and can't let anyone do anything uh, without overseeing them. And uh, we've got 19 trees coming in this weekend. There's already seven out there. And um, for eight tenths of an acre, people are going to wonder why we have packed this place with trees. And the answer is because we're using a lot of, uh, we're supplying green credits. You know, this place is mostly asphalt and it's a tiny area. We've got this access road that we don't own, but counts against us. We had to make that back up in terms of green space. And we did that with a couple different trees, um, but we overdid it by close to 150% because I, you know, we know, we know, so, we we know some arborists, we know yeah, some arborists. Right, you know, you and, know, and so. uh, we really put our patience to work for us. We got a ton of trees. There's two, only two kinds though, our and, friend. And great advice, great yeah, advice. Yeah, we have the red maple and we have the Eastern uh, Rosebud. Now the Eastern Rosebud we have along the tree line out here on Stump Road and lining our access road because it only gets to about 15 feet tall at the most, but it's beautiful. And we have some stately red maples going on the Stump Road side of the building. We wanted to get our friends the black gum and the sweet gum for the sole purpose of throwing gumballs at people. Uh, turns out we can't do that, and uh, those trees won't mature in time for us to throw them at people. So you're good, you're lucky. So anyway, um, we've got a couple other things um, for water retention that we did at this site. Uh, we've got some pervious pavement. We've got a really great um, rainwater garden out there that once it warms up, we'll be able to put the plants, the Missouri natives we want in there. It's gonna look awesome. But I just wanted you next time, whenever you drive out here and you see all the 50,000 trees I've got, um, and which ones you know, Dr. Matt and I, Dr. Brad, and the staff, we're, we just love trees. You know, we just love the way that they smell. We love what it does for the environment. And that's why they're there. So in particular, that's why those two trees are there because they fit within our credit spacing and because, um, they don't have gumballs. Yeah. So, anyway, <laughs> that's it. We look forward to seeing you in a new place, uh, one way or another, either in the parking lot, um, under a tent or in this actual building. Yeah. Mud and taping, you know. All right. All right. Talk to you later.